Okay everybody, hello and welcome to this video. In this video we're going to have a, a look at how we can enable the parental controls for a Nintendo Switch. Uh, let's have a look at my Nintendo Switch first. I'm going to tap on the system settings. I'm going to tap that twice. And I'm going to have a look at parental controls. Here you can see I don't have any parental controls selected or enabled at the moment. I can tap on this setting, close the software or the game that's running, uh, and it says here I've already downloaded the app. At this point, I don't have an app. So let's go to my iPhone. I'm going to tap on App Store. And in App Store, we're going to go and search for Nintendo. Switch Parent Parental Controls. That's the second one there. I'm going to tap on the little cloud with the down arrow icon to install the software. And then once the software is installed on my phone, I should get a code to be able to link my phone and my Nintendo, and then apply some of the parental control settings. So here you can see the app has finished downloading. I've just gone and opened it, and I'm now going to click Start. I'm not really interested in sending data for improvement or optimization, so I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to sign into my Nintendo account. That's fine. I have an existing account, so I'm going to sign in. Let me just pause the video while I go through this and type these details in. So you can see I've now signed in with my Nintendo account, and it's this account that I'm going to select. So I'm going to tap on the Select This Account section, tap that on the screen. And this should now sign me into my Nintendo account in the app. And you can see here, this is how we link our Nintendo and the app on the phone. I'm going to tap Next, and it's this registration code I need for the Nintendo. On the Nintendo, now I'm going to tap on the screen. If you've already downloaded the app, tap, and tap again on Enter Registration Code. And here I'm going to tap 187, 187, 425. Okay. At this point, the app and the Nintendo should be happily talking to each other and we should be cooking with gas. It says, please look at the console of the Nintendo. That's fine, I want to link. And you can see there's my account name, my Nintendo account name. Go ahead and link that, please, yes. And I have now successfully linked my Nintendo Switch. Um, and I'm going to continue, tap on the Nintendo screen to continue set up on my smart device or phone. And I'm just going to tap on the iPhone now. I'm just going to tap later. And we'll see what the overall experience looks like when we're in the app. So here we are. If I enable notifications, I will get things, well, I will get messages on my phone that say things like, there was an attempt on the Nintendo to unlock it, uh, or there was an attempt to install something, things like that. So it's quite handy. Um, at this point, though, the things that are most important to me about parental controls are down here on the settings button on the bottom right. I'm going to tap that on the screen. And it's here that we want to set some of the configuration for the app, um, which applies to the Nintendo. So let's go. I'm interested in playtime limits. I want to... S s You'll note if I tap on set days individually, there's no time. Let's turn that off for a moment. Let's change playtime limit to 30 minutes. And let's tap save. You'll note that that goes away and it syncs. And here on my Nintendo, it's got a little update to say that that's taken effect. But now, if I go back to playtime limit and do set days individually, they've automatically got 30 minutes each. And let's say I, w I want 30 minutes Monday to Friday, but on the weekends, I want to give my child an hour. Happy with that. And then the same again on Sunday, 30 minutes to an hour. Now, Limits are great, but at the moment, all that's going to happen is they're going to get a very nice message at the top of them, Nintendo saying, time's up. And as we all know with kids, they're pretty much going to ignore it. So what we need to do is down the bottom here, we need to suspend software when the time limit or alarm is met or is executed. So let's go and tap on that. I'm going to tap OK. So this means that after 30 minutes of playing on the Nintendo, the device will be locked the app will, suspend, will be suspended and they will be prevented from using the device any further. That is perfect. 
So I'm syncing that. You can see that the, the daytime limit has been changed already on the Nintendo screen there, which is awesome. Um, if we have a look at the next section, which is the pin, you can see it sets by default a pin number here. Let me just go ahead and change that. I'm going to put it to the secure one, two, three, four. You'll see an update on the Nintendo screen shortly to say that that sync is applied, which is awesome. Finally, now we're just going to talk about the restriction level. Let's have a look at that. If I tap on that and I tap on young child, this is going to prevent applications from running on the Nintendo. If I just go back to the Nintendo for a moment and tap on the home screen, if I tap and run something like Trials of Mana, I'm going to run that as my normal account. Keep in mind, these restrictions are Nintendo-wide. It doesn't matter who I'm logged into the Nintendo as, what account. It will apply to every user or every child that uses the device. If you turn off these restrictions, of course, it affects every app and every user of the device as well. So do keep that in mind. You can see here I'm loading uh, Trials of Mana at the moment. If I just tap the Home button here, you can see it's playing in the background. And now, if I go back to my phone... I, I select a young child and then I tap save on the restriction level. I will go ahead and sync that. The restriction level has been changed. And this means now Trials of Mana is above the restriction level for young child. If they try to run it, you can see that they cannot play this software because they are not at the right restriction level or they don't meet the restriction level. So that's fine. They can. The options are to close it and do nothing and try and run something else like Super Mario Brothers. Or if they tap on it, they can do information for parents and guardians. Let's say that your child brings the device to you. You can tap this yourself. You can tap on the top button there, which says excluding this software from parental controls. You can add it to a whitelist. Um, so by touching that. And here we just enter the pin number that's set in the app on the iPhone. Now this game will explicitly be added to the whitelist on the phone and, the, and your child will be able to run it on this device. So let's wait for that to load. Uh, if we go back to the phone for a minute, there we go, you can see it loading already. If we go over to whitelist, I'm just going to refresh this section first. You can see whitelist has now updated with one. We tap on that just on the whitelist itself and there you can see Trials of Mana has been added to the whitelist for the restrictions. So that's it as far as restrictions go for the device. That's pretty much all I use with my child as well. So uh, I hope that's helpful for you. You'll get other things like monthly summary reports of which game they've been playing the most and those sort of things. But that is pretty much all I use this for. I hope that's been helpful. I hope you've enjoyed it. If there's any questions or anything, please add them in the comments. Uh, otherwise, we'll see you in the next video.